Alright everybody, today I have a new video idea that I came up with a long time ago, and I've been filming in my free time, and that is called DBOG Hardcore Mode. Basically, if I die, the run is over, and I have to restart. I can't leave the game while in combat, I can't receive any outside help from anybody, and I can't use Time Chamber or Gravity Chamber. I will also be in a private server so I don't get jumped or receive unwanted help. Um, if this video does well enough, maybe I'll do a part 2 where I have to do it in a public server, maybe, if that'll be interesting. Now with that out of the way, let's begin the video. I started creating a Bojack because I don't actually have one of those. He's bald, don't bully him. What if he has cancer? Okay, you can't bully bald people. And with that, my character was finished. He is a bald Bojack, and he looks pretty basic looking, but don't worry, I want to get him dripped out by the end of this run. You can really see how long I've been making this video because it's still the winter update in this footage and there's snow everywhere. So uh, you're just going to have to get used to seeing like updates like flying in and, and whatnot throughout the recording this video. It's, it's very outdated sometimes and a lot has changed since then. I tried to buy the non fighting style right away but it, it was actually 2000 zenny and all I had was 1000. So like any normal person starting the game I started with the default quests. So first I had to go do this shop, and then head over to ranked matches, and then head over to Baba's Palace. As you can see, my stamina bar actually hit yellow already, and I don't know if the update was in yet, that stamina, whenever your stamina was in yellow, you would get slower, but whether or not that update was in, I realized very quickly that at level 1, your stamina sucks, and it's going to be a pretty big problem. This actually isn't going to be the last time I see Baba in this run because she actually sells Sunzu beans and that's going to be pretty helpful, to be honest, considering I'm not allowed to die. She also sells half Sunzu beans, which are half the price and have half the uh, effectiveness, so I decided to actually buy one because I figured I would probably need one. My first strategy was to try to get a little extra stat points into agility because I figured I would need to run away a lot so I started doing some free EXP quests just to try to bump my agility up a little bit. After getting some stats into agility I decided that maybe using the Dragon Balls to get some levels or some stat points would have been smart. But as you'll see later on this idea doesn't really turn out well until like really later on. So, Also while doing these quests I noticed that since I can't die, I also cannot go to Otherworld to do quests there or get Kaioken, so that kind of sucks, but whatever, right? That's just something I have to deal with. And as you can see, I also equipped the Nimbus and the Dark Nimbus, and since that update, like I said before, where the yellow stamina bar makes you go slower, it's very painful for low levels. And then I remembered that Nimbus was OP, and at the time it was, so I equipped it. Since then it's gotten nerfs, but oh well. While fighting Tal, I actually realized that I didn't have the heavy Assault Chase equipped, which is obviously the best one. 9 out of 10 times, so I quickly equipped that and also realized that grabs are going to be my best friend during this run because I'm going to want to keep as much distance as possible from strong enemies. After defeating my first strong opponent, Mercenary Tao, I put in a lot of points in the melee actually and decided to head over to the real test, the farmer with the shotgun. And with that epic battle concluded, I knew that the run was basically secured since I didn't die to the farmer with shotgun. He could have really one shot me, so the rest of the run is easy from here.
So after the fight with the evil sands, I noticed a couple of things. I remember that after fights, I won't be able to heal. I also realized that upgrading health actually lowered my HP and it scared the shit out of me. I don't know what was- I didn't know why my health was low, but I realized it was because I was, lo I was uh, upgrading my HP stat. I also realized that the, the golden Nimbus takes stamina, but only the dark one for some reason. Not the golden one, so I switched the golden one. I also was very afraid of Raditz, but as you can see, the fight went pretty well. I bought Rise to Action Power Up because I figured at the start it would be best for me just to have any sort of defensive measure I could have. Speaking of defensive measures, I also bought Instant Rise. I figured that would be the best evasive for me to have. Right after fighting Raditz and beating him, I went up to the lookout to talk to Kami to get my next quest, training with the Z Fighters, and I actually decided to buy Backflip instead of Instant Rise for some reason. Don't know what was going through my head, maybe it was an accident, but uh, yeah, I have Backflip instead of Instant Rise. After training with the Z Fighters for I guess technically a year, since now it's time for Goku to come back to life, I went over to Goku, accepted the quest, <laughs> did the painful fly over to Master Roshi's place to talk to Bulma, and now I have to fight Cybermen, so that's sort of what I'm doing now. I hate how he added so many NPCs yet to sort of fight during these quests, but it's, it's whatever. <laughs> Man, don't these Cybermen know the rule of DBZ where you're supposed to fight one-on-one -on -one, even though if jumping the guy actually would be way smarter? Here's where I start actually looking for Dragon Balls, but I'm pretty sure I'm unsuccessful. But here's my route in case you're curious, or at least most of it, I believe. Yeah, this flying is actually at 800 times speed, which is crazy because of how slow it looks. But if you want an actual Dragon Ball route, I have many videos on my channels for about every Dragon Ball set. Or actually, I don't know why I said about. I, I do have one for every Dragon Ball set. So just look on my channel if you actually want a way to find Dragon Balls. This is not where you're going to find out how to do it.
I know that after fighting the Cybermen, Nappa and Vegeta were going to be after me, so I decided to do a daily quest or two, just to sort of try to level up a little bit before taking on the big man and also the littler big man. Alright everybody, so I actually realized that this is going to be a very long video to edit and, I, and also when it's done, a very long video in general. So I'm actually going to cut this up into parts. So this was part one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys actually like this and depending on this video's reception, I'll continue it. If enough people comment saying they want to see more, if I actually get the run done or not. Um, let me know, right? Let me know in the comments, and I will definitely continue editing and sort of completing this video. But that's it for part one. Let me know if you guys want part two in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.